In the last video, we created a simple Angular application and we had some basic dynamic functionality on the client side. I wouldn't call it dynamic, but basically we did ask Angular to do something on the client side. We asked Angular to hide this paragraph and Angular, uh, even though the paragraph existed in the page, Angular was able to remove it uh, because of this ngf. So we used ngapp to declare this as an Angular application and we used ngf to make this conditional. Uh, but if you think about it, this is not exactly conditional. It's conditional upon a hard-coded false value. So this is always going to be false, and this paragraph is always going to not show up. Uh, what we'd like to do is have this be influenced by a variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called time of day, and I'm going to initialize it to a hard-coded time of day for now. And then depending on that time of day, I'm going to either show good morning are not show good morning. Let's look at the other good evenings and the good afternoons a bit later. But for now, uh, this app is gonna have an initialized time of day variable. Uh, let's call it hour of day, right? So it's gonna initialize to a particular hour of the day. And uh, if the hour of the day is less than 12, it's gonna say good morning. If it's more than 12, it's not gonna say good morning, right? So that's a simple requirement. Now, I need to do a couple of things. First. I need to create a variable and assign it to a value. I'm just going to hard code the value for now. And then the second thing is I need to update this condition to compare that value with 12. And if it's less than 12, only then have this paragraph in there. So first step, how do I create a new variable and initialize it to a value? The way to initialize any such kind of a variable, there are actually multiple ways to initialize variables like this, but one way to do it is by using another directive called ng init. Uh, true to its name, ng init lets you init something. All right. So I'm going to create an ng init directive. Uh, I'm, I can put it anywhere over here above, but uh, I'll just use the body tag for it. I say ng init equals, and then within these quotes, I can initialize a variable. Now I'm going to initialize R of day variable, and I'm going to set the value to 10. So it's 10 a.m. All right. So I'm hard coding this value and to say out of day is always going to be 10. Hard coding is fine for now. We'll make it a bit dynamic later. But this is what I'm doing. Using ng in it, I'm initializing this variable to the value 10. But you might ask me, well, have I declared this variable? Where is this out of day coming from? I haven't declared this yet. I'm just assigning the value directly. Well, that turns out is perfectly fine in Angular. When you use a variable in Angular like this and assign it a value, Angular actually creates that variable. Where it creates it, I'm going to talk about a bit later, but assume that this variable is created and the value 10 is assigned to it. All right. So this is ng init. It lets you initialize stuff. It lets you run this kind of arbitrary logic to initialize something and this uh, variable can now be used in other places in the code. Now, the place that I want to use R of day is inside ngf. Now, I need to use a condition to check if R of day is less than 10. So I'm going to say R of day less than 10 inside this ngf, right? So this paragraph shows up if R of day is less than 10, right? So this condition should evaluate to true. If uh, let me actually change this to 12 because that's what I was looking for. All right, so if R of day is less than 12, ngf evaluates to true, and this paragraph tag is shown. If R of day is greater than 12, ngf evaluates to false, right? R of day less than 12, this expression is going to turn to false. And this paragraph tag will not be shown because it's equivalent of saying ngf equals false. So let me save this and execute this. I'm going to refresh. Uh, it shows good morning because R of day equals 10 and 10 is less than 12. If I were to change this, let's, as I say, change this to 2 p.m. by changing R of day to 14. And now R of day is 14 here and 14 is less than 12. So NGF is looking at a false expression and it should not have good morning in the DOM. All right, so let me refresh this and that goes away. So this is a very simple use of a new directive that we learned in this tutorial, which is ng init. This lets you initialize a variable. You don't have to declare it, just as a value and you're gonna get that variable. And we have taken that variable and we've used this inside a directive called ngf, which conditionally shows this element.
right? Now, the cool thing here is I can have this R of day used in multiple directives. Now, let's say I want to have a good evening uh, message over here. So I can actually duplicate this paragraph tag. And uh, let's say I call this good evening. And the condition for this will be R of day greater than, let's say 5 p.m. So that would be 17. So let me go ahead and save this. Now, if I refresh, nothing shows up because R of day is 14. So this NGF evaluates to false. So good morning is not shown. This NGF also evaluates to false because 14 is not greater than 17. So good evening is also not added to the DOM. However, if I change this to, let's say, 18, now I'm going to get good evening. If this is less than 12, let's say 9 a.m., now it's going to show good morning, right? So this is pretty cool. You define a variable just once, and then you can use this in multiple multiple tags. And you have multiple NGFs, which do different things, but then it's referring to the same variable. So you either show good morning or good evening, depending on the time of the day. You can also add a good afternoon, which covers the time between 12 and 17, but I'll leave that to you as an exercise. So this is a quick look at a couple of new features. Uh, one is ng in it, and uh, you also learn how to create and initialize variables and use them inside another directive we already learned, which is ng if. So with this, we've just gotten started with Angular and using some of the directives and its features. In the next unit, we're going to dive deep into a lot of the Angular features that you get out of the box and see how we can build some fairly complex applications using some of the features that already come bundled with Angular.